component of the conference. This is where this is where we discuss whatever we want to discuss during the conference. This is the main component of the conference. And so during this uh, during this process, you have to raise your placards to be called by chair, as the demonstration just did, because we only uh, the chair will only look at your placard and not your hand. So please remember to raise your placard and don't hold it upside down or inside out. <laughs> and so um, you can only speak when the chair recognizes you. For example, the chair said, uh, "India, you are recognized." That is when you can either approach the stage, hold the microphone, and speak, or simply stand up and talk. And this is the point where you can talk about anything. If you think one of the delegates is so hot or so handsome, then you are always welcome to go on stage and say, oh, I think a delegate of X country is so damn hot. <laughs> However, that does not uh, give you any, any favors in winning a best delegate, so duh. But this is where you can talk about anything. That is important. And this, these are dialogues that you may use, as you have heard during the demonstration. For example, when you go up, sta uh, when you go up stage and you start talking, it is always better to politely address the body first. For example, honorable chair, distinguished delegates, fellow delegates, esteemed chair. These are all phrases that is worth uh, worth memorizing. Also, during your speech, you do not address yourself. For I do not come up saying that. Oh, um, I think World Food Day is a better topic. No, I have to say the delegation believes it is a good topic, or the United Kingdom believes we, as a country, believes that the delegation believes. So you have to use it in third person. You are representing your country, and so remember, remember that you are a country, not a person. And so after you are done with your speech, or when your time has expired, because um, each speaker has uh, one minute or one minute and a half, depending on the conference. So after you are done with your speech, or after the time is up, you have three things that you can do. First, you can yield your time to chair. What does it mean? It means that you want to give your time up. For example, I have 20 seconds left, but I'm done. So I give my time to chair, and the chair will continue with the next speaker, or whatever is on the agenda next. The second thing you can do is yield to questions. For example, uh, I, want, uh, I, want, I have proposed an idea on a solution, and I want other delegates to ask me questions on, uh, regarding the resolution. Then you can yield your time to questions, and one delegate will be recognized to use the remaining time to ask you a question. So you don't usually yield three seconds to questions, because that would be just stupid. Okay. The third part is to yield to ex-delegate. So uh, it means that, for example, USA thought of an idea, and I want China to come up and talk about the idea, give, give me feedback on my idea. So I would yield my time to the delegate of China. And so China will have the rest of my time and talk whatever he wants. He can actually talk whatever he wants. So this is, these are the three things that you can do. Also, during this uh, time, you can raise three points. Points, uh, I'm not sure what point means in Chinese, but basically it is, it is like questions or, or ideas that you want to raise. The first is point of personal privilege. This is when you feel uncomfortable or when you cannot hear someone talking in the front. For example, you can raise a point of personal privilege saying, oh, chair, there is no AC, I'm feeling so damn hot. I really need the AC. And that is a point where you can raise personal privilege. Or for example, the other delegate is attacking me, like we did in a demonstration uh, last week. Like, he's attacking me, I hate it. So I can raise a point of personal privilege. This is also the only point where you can interrupt the speaker. For example, I'm speaking here right now, any one of you can raise a point of personal privilege, and the chair will take that in order. The second one is point of order, which, is, which basically means pointing a finger at the chair, telling him, you're doing it wrong. You're telling the chair that he or she did something wrong with the ROP. So this is a slightly more offensive, because it's more like correcting the chair. And this is another thing you can use, which is point of parliamentary inquiry. Basically, you're using this point to ask the chair, uh, are you sure it's like this? Uh, I have a question regarding ROP, are you sure? So that is a point where you can raise a point of parliamentary inquiry. And even if you think the chair stole someone's face, I don't think that is a point of parliamentary inquiry, but anyways, this is a really funny picture. I really liked it. Okay. Now let's look at another demonstration. <laughs> 